What's up everybody, Droll Kyle Maney here, and today I present to you a chicken. No, I'm just kidding. I present to you episode two of Let's Flip This Biome. Oh look, another chicken. Look at that. Look at that chicken right there. Alright everybody. So last episode we did a little work on the desert biome, uh, and we're gonna turn this into an oasis. So today we're gonna continue working on it. No work has been done since the uh, last episode, so it's uh, exactly the same as it was. So let's first start off with making this little island. That's what we uh, cut at last time, I believe. And today it's just going to be me recording because uh, no one else from the team is online right now. So you're going to have to just deal with me. <laughs> um, all right, let's make a palm tree. All right. And then one there. And I also want to start working on some house designs, hopefully, this episode. So that's something we're going to try and do if we got time. Going to keep this around 20 minutes, hopefully. Actually, let's go to bed. I uh, don't want to build in the dark. And, yep. So, how is everybody's uh, week going? It's a Monday, but uh, for most people, you probably have off school. At least in, if you're in the U.S., because uh, today is Columbus Day. And, yep, I'm recording this video the day of, so, yep. Um, let me just, I want to keep the design, yes, I got this right. Um, Alright. Also, guys, if you could hear my controller, sorry about that. It shouldn't be too loud, though. Um, I don't know if, like, people get annoyed by that. I kind of like the sound of it in recordings, but yeah, if you don't like that, I'm sorry. I have a filter on my mic, and I try to cut out the noise, but I don't have, like, a background remover with a uh, movie maker, so yeah. Alright, and I just put way too many leaves there. Uh, and that goes like that. And then, same over here. Again, I put too many leaves. What am I doing? Um, Alright. And I think that's a pretty nice looking palm tree. Why don't you guys let me know what you think about the palm tree? I think it's a nice design for a palm tree. That's just me. Did I do that one? I think I did that wrong. Yes, yes I did. Um, like that. There we go. Alright. Um, and then and one down. Alright, we good. Alright, that's not a half bad palm tree. Looks pretty nice for the oasis. I think I'm also going to add some lily pads in this little pond. So I feel like there's got to be like a little waterfall somewhere. Make it really nature-y looking. And also, there's something I need to get around. Because, let me show you something. If I put grass down, it's like this ugly yellow color. So, I need, I'm either going to have to use green wool. Like dark green wool. Or something else. That's why I'm using these leaves. I think I'm using birch leaves for the trees. Yeah, they don't really get discolored in this in this biome. So that's why I'm using that. I think gravel would look nice around the edge. Maybe put some like watermelons and good stuff like that. I think that could look really cool. Um, all right, right here. Let's. I think this area is gonna be where the staircase to the pyramid is. So let's clear out some space for this. I wish I had a modded controller. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm gonna try to make the budding mashing as quiet as possible. Alright, that's enough space for now. Let's just put some gravel here. And all that good stuff. Also, oh, I forgot. 
We forgot to mention something last episode. We put it in the description of the video, but uh, we forgot to mention it. Our friend um, Master Bones, or uh, Anthony, is the one that um, came up with this idea for Let's Flip This Biome. So, big shout out to Master Bones. Awesome idea, Anthony. And, yeah, it's actually... I really like this series. It's, I think it's really fun to do. Because I like, I like doing landscape kind of stuff. I think that's really fun. Alright, so we're going to have to cover up this pathway with sand. Um... To make it look natural. It does, it looks a little weird like that. Uh, maybe. Hmm. Maybe we'll. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking we might want to do something else. I'm thinking we might want little. Like, not on this side. I think I want to leave this side, like, just a view of the pond. And then walk up to the pyramid. Um, maybe I'll put, like, a fountain here. That could Maybe I'm not sure about that, but on this house, on this side, maybe have like little desert houses, lining it. Uh, this is gonna get covered up, but here's the amazing cactus with the Steve head on it. So let's do this. Let's clear out a little more space, and <laughs> um, yes, there we go. So we'll make the pathway like right here. That might look cool. This might change everybody. So like this could be subject to change. Maybe I'll, hmm, I'm not sure about this area. Let's just work on a desert house. <laughs> um, I'm gonna worry about that later. So what do we want? We want some smooth sandstone maybe. Um, what else do we want? We definitely want some fence posts. Those can look good for desert houses. Mm, we'll get some cacti. Where are the cacti, anyway? Uh, why can't I think of this? Cactus! Where are you? You know what? Forget about the cacti. We're just going to use sandstone for now. There's some cacti. <laughs> Smart. Alright, so I'll make a base with the smooth stand sandstone. Yeah, I think I like that. And we'll push this chicken out of the way. Um I'm thinking about making these symmetrical, so I guess in the corners this will look good if it remains smooth sandstone. And right there. And then in the middle. Um what is no, chiseled sandstone that I want to use. What could we use in the middle? Hmm. I would... Would quartz look interesting? Like, maybe? Would the white and sandstone, maybe, go together well? I don't know. Actually, maybe orange wool would look good. So indecisive, this episode. We could, we could might, might be able to rock orange wool with sandstone. It gives a desert feel. So, how are we going to do the windows now? No, definitely not. That's kind of interesting. I wonder how something else might look. Maybe if we use this cobblestone wall, that might look in more, better. More better. That might look better. I think we could rock that for now. Let's do that again. Fill this up. Put some orange wool right here. Um, and one more layer. And then right here, put another layer of this. This kind of looks like a little shop, maybe. Hmm. But I'm not, I'm not too sure about this. I've never really made a house like this before. So, it's a learning experience for me. Let's try this design again. Uh, actually, no, let's move this one more over. And then one right there. 
definitely like a learning ex experience for me. I've never built a desert house before, nor do I n really know what they look like. I'm just, I'm just kind of winging it right now. This could definitely change everybody. Like, leave some suggestions, because I definitely don't, I don't know if I like that with too much smooth sandstone. Maybe if I do something like this. Um, hmm. Let's try just regular sandstone real quick, see what that looks like. Like if we put regular sandstone along there and just have smooth sandstone in certain areas, that might look better. I think that does look a little bit better. And this could maybe be like a little shop. Let's um let's get some string real quick. Where is the string? So disoriented. No, I just And let's get another an orange carpet for this. And we'll go right here. Did that place the string? I guess not. I guess I'm gonna have to build up with the string. And one down, right there, there, and put it across like so. This might look really weird. <laughs> this is definitely going to look really weird, isn't it? I'm trying to go like, if you've ever seen one of those movies where like, like Indiana Jones or something where they're in like um, a desert scene or something and they fall through those canopies and there's like multiple canopies on top of each other. That's what I'm trying to go for right here. This is not... But that... That definitely doesn't look good. Definitely not going to keep that. And it's already nighttime again. And I got rid of my bed. What am I doing? So let's get, um, let's just continue working on the pond for now. I, I, I just can't think of designs I want to use for that. Let me know, like, let me know what I should do. I'm definitely not going to do this. At least not that many layers. It just looks weird. I'm going to continue on the pond. Um, uh, what do we need again? We need lily pads. we got to find those. Uh, we could use some vines, maybe. I hope those don't get discolored. Um, we're going to need some more jungle wood. Uh, where are you, jungle wood? There you are. Birch leaves. Let's do some melons. You might want to try this out. And also, let's get some green wool. See what we could do with like the area around the pond so it's not so sandy looking first let's add some lily pads pretty lily pads don't want to use too many alright that looks alright um Let's make a few more trees around. Not right there, because there's a house there. We can make one, like, right over here, maybe. And I fell. Alright. Continue our design that we've been doing this whole time. And I need swiftness, so... So thirsty. All right, and not like that, not like that. Would have known a tree could take so long to make, especially when my controller keeps on like jerking one way. Um, there we 
go. Let's do the middle part real quick. Okay. I think I like this design for the palm tree. Like I said, I think it's a pretty unique design. So I'm definitely going to keep this. And bring that down. And one more down. And bring that down too. I think this is going to be a record time for a palm tree. Yes, sir. Alright, that looks pretty good in that area. And now let's work on making some greenness around here. That actually kind of looks nice. Like, I'm not going to lie. I mean, the texture of the green wall isn't that good. But with the... It kind of, like, it kind of makes it look like wet grass, so I'm actually not, this actually isn't too bad. So, let's also get some gravel out, so we could add some gravel around the lake, make it look more natural. Um, eh. Gotta just make this stuff look nice and natural. Also, um, we had a few suggestions for the name, and uh, I think we actually I think we only got one. It was started with an A, and I actually really liked it. I just can't think of what it was. Um, it sounded cool though, and thank you for that suggestion. Also, if you want to leave any suggestions for other names of like the different kingdoms, like this is the sand one. Um, if you want to leave names for like the jungle or just leave more for this one because we only got one suggestion so we're open for more and more suggestions each time so feel free to do that um we haven't thought of any names ourselves really so uh definitely consider thinking of a few names and we might use yours uh, and over here, let's do something like that. Alright, that doesn't look too bad around the pond. We gotta add some more green wool. Problem is, uh, what am I gonna, I'm gonna have to keep some sand too. So we can't like completely eradicate sand because sugarcane can only grow on sand and grass I believe. Um, but I don't think this looks too bad. Definitely making this area look nice. Uh, yeah, so I'm not too disappointed with this. Problem is, what, what are we going to do with this area? Maybe we could cover this with sand and, like, make it still look like the uh, thing. But then we don't even have to use green wool anymore because it's a swamp biome. So that could be interesting. Uh, let's see. And maybe we'll have like the little waterfall over here. Have like a natural made hill. That could be really cool. But um, I think I'm going to end the episode off here, everybody. We got a little bit of work done. Not too much today. We finished that little island. And started a design for a house. I don't really like it. But be sure to leave some suggestions. I definitely want to change this up. I'm going to experiment with some designs on my own. And hopefully come up with a much better design that we could use. Got to get some inspiration for some houses like that. But yeah, hope everybody enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like if you did. And subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. And I'll talk to everybody in the next one. See you later.